I don't honestly believe in the point some of those devs make by saying someone telling you your art needs to be done again is mind blowing. It really, really isn't anything that should boggle you. Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saint. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're all healthy. So we have an interesting bit of news in light of N7 Day. Now, me being the lazy sloth that I am, I recorded this the 6th, but I'm fairly sure I'm gonna end up posting this video some other day, so yeah my bad. Lazy YouTubing aside, People Make Games gave us an inside look into how Mass Effect 3 developers feel about the ending 10 years later, as well as the work environment they found themselves in. They also covered another possible Mass Effect 3 ending that sounded pretty cool. Yeah, I know it's an old ending and that we all kind of got over it, but I think knowing what could have been is interesting. Before we continue, if you like game news, game streams, and a chill place to watch them, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get to it. PMG included some major players in the making of the original trilogy. We hear accounts from previous Bioware crew from the likes of Zechariah Scott, a cinematic designer, Manvir Air, a gameplay designer, Mark Jeskiewicz, a systems programmer, and Mark Antoine Maton, a cinematic animator. All of these stories give us a deeper understanding into what went wrong and how Bioware mishandled a situation that clearly needed more care. In regards to the ending itself, Zechariah said the main scenes that got the backlash were the ones that are color swapped, right? We didn't know they were going to do that. There was originally a version which was very different on each level. This seems to be a common theme when talking about this topic. A lot of the crew wasn't really aware of the direction Bioware planned on taking the ending. One of the possible avenues to be explored comes from Dave Wilkinson, a Bioware animation director from Montreal. Real. To start off, the three colors were part of an initial storyboard he had sent to Casey Hudson, where they were just easy to differentiate when Renegade and Paragon endings were being considered. As it may be obvious, red was Renegade, blue was Paragon, and green was the other one. The actual ending he had planned was very different to the one we ended up with. In this ending, Shepard would be augmented with electronical bits and he would plug himself into the Citadel. After that, he'd be transported into a virtual world where he talks to the Queen of Reapers. Said Queen would say the Reaper's way of doing things wasn't sustainable and that they had to evolve. However, she would explain that they were incapable of doing so due to limitations in their AI. Even though she was a queen, she was locked inside the Citadel because she proposed things the Reapers didn't like. In this virtual world, she would insist that the situation they were in was the chance to evolve everything. The Renegade option would have seen Shepard ripping himself out of the Citadel, shooting at the main computer, which would cause the Citadel to blow up, and wiping out the Earth but saving organics in the process. In the Paragon option, you would become the king slash queen of reapers, lead them to do good, and ignore the original queen. And finally, in synthesis, the queen and shepherd would combine the best part of themselves and send it out to the universe, changing it forever. Similar to the star child scene, a mother and daughter would be sitting on a hill. The camera would pan to the stars, get blurry, and then focus on some dandelion type things floating in the air. These things would have weird green circuits, and when the camera would pan back to the mother and daughter, they would be too sorry with the same circuits. Obviously, this isn't how things turned out. Following the crappy ending we actually got, leaders and team meetings apparently thought they did nothing wrong. I remember a team meeting basically calling gamers entitled, said Mark Antoine on his interview with PMG. We gave them something great, we worked really hard on this, I'm really proud of all of you. Because how can you really come up in front of the studio going like, I'm the game director, or I'm the studio director, I'm an important person, I made decisions and your hard work didn't produce something good. You can't do that. Of course Bioware would think this way, because how dare their consumers tell them they made something in a rush and without polish, especially if it was true. Fortunately though, so Ray and Greg, Bioware's co-founders, said they wanted to make things right by the player. After this, the extended cut was released, which basically added the yeah, I'm not choosing ending and the beautiful keynote presentations. Even though I have some harsh criticisms regarding both the original ending and the extended cut, I'm even more bothered by the way Bioware treats their employees. We were an unhealthy, close family and part of it is how the studio worked. Part of it is how remote Edmonton is and how cold those winters were and how much we crunched. But like, we were good. I remember us being pretty okay said Zachariah. But within a year, within two years once we got into Dragon Age Inquisition by a year, everyone was fried. Everybody was completely destroyed. Morale was incredibly low. I joined Dragon Age Inquisition and I stayed for a year. That whole year was me, like, fighting for upper management to just listen to how stressed out everybody was. And so, I don't normally attribute much 
much of that to Mass Effect, but it's safe to say that, like, around that time, a lot of people were starting therapy. Manvir also had some interesting things to say about the crunch. Yeah, I think there was definitely a morale hit on the team. You're kinda ready to be done with a game in a franchise at a certain point, and when it gets extended out, that's just like, wait, the people who were crunching the hardest at the end now had to go back and start crunching again. They didn't get good rest. We have Mark pitching in as well, stating that life period was really, really hard. I don't know anyone's ever really talked about that, but yeah, we crunched. A lot of people went through a lot of hard times to get through that. I'm not even going to begin to go through ex-developers' opinions because A, I already talked about this on a previous video, which is relatively decent and I highly recommend checking it out, and B, even though this interview included other devs, honestly the conclusion is the same. Some were supportive of changing the ending, others weren't. On a personal note, I believe that if the majority of your fan base has an issue with the ending you made, there's a good chance they have a point. You botched up, created a lackluster ending which was borderline mediocre, and you get mad at the players? No my dude, that's 100% completely on you. I don't honestly believe in the point some of those devs make by saying someone telling you your art needs to be done again is mind-blowing. It really, really isn't anything that should boggle you. Gaming is a business, a very lucrative one at that. Of course you put your heart and soul into your work, but that doesn't really change the quality of it. An uncomfortable chair will remain uncomfortable no matter how much time you put into making it. Hell, I know I have made crappy videos that are simply uninteresting and I put hours into them. I'm not going to get butt hurt over my audience telling me, hey, this ain't it. It's your job as a creator of anything to improve your craft, especially if you plan on making people pay for it. The fault at the end of the day falls on the company that is making the decisions, but not the developers who work for said company. While I don't believe in making the developers crunch in absurd ways, I do believe some of the devs that were on this project confused the injustice of having to work too much with how fair it is for the player to be giving a mediocre product. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did you think this ending was cooler? What would you change to make it better? I'll be happy to read your thoughts. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I upload videos every single week about tech or gaming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at St. Wolven, as well as join the pack on Discord. Thank you for watching, my dudes, and I hope you have a good one. Bye bye